What's going on everyone? Platinum Beast coming at you with another video. Today's topic, buying platinum for flipping. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay guys, so if you are new to the platinum sphere, you may be wondering... What's platinum all about? How can I benefit from having platinum? Should I buy platinum? All great questions. Today, I want to talk about flipping platinum. So, and my experience in flipping platinum. So, in the past, I have had platinum fractionals. I actually started with fractionals, and I think that's a great way to get into platinum if you are considering getting into platinum. Now, I want to talk about the potential of profiting from flipping platinum and how you can do that and how I've done it and how you can just go about it. So right now, at the current time, platinum's floating around 8 850 spot price. I think that's pretty reasonable and pretty low in my opinion for the overall spot price of platinum. Now, if you pick up like a gram right now, It'll probably cost anywhere from 40 to 50 bucks. When platinum spot price increases, that means your gram increases. And the premium will still hold in a private sale or even in a sale to a coin dealer or a bullion dealer or whatever. And so I think platinum is a great thing to pick up to flip. You can also pick up things like these, the Queen's Beast platinum series because some of these are very hard to come by such as the unicorn this was one I was chasing for a long while and it took me a while to find at a what I consider reasonable price that I was willing to pay and so right now this is not for sale anywhere online except from one UK dealer who charges a extremely unreasonable amount, in my opinion, for that coin. Now, some people might be willing to pay that amount, and that's where you come in to flip. I bought this recently within the last month or two at about nine fifty, I believe. It was from Atmax. It was about nine fifty. I could probably very easily sell this for a thousand dollars right now. Because people are chasing this. People are after this, and this is a hard one to come by. Same thing with the Griffin and the original Lion. These two are older pieces, older in the fact that they were released a few years ago. And they are just harder to come by in today's market. They weren't minted very much, I assume. And people want to collect the whole Platinum Queen's Bee series because it's a popular series. The American Platinum Eagle, if you saw my other video on the Platinum Eagle and the secret it has, <laughs> um, you'll know that I talked about how each year the mintage is very low. And so because of that, each year that goes by, the coin increases in value somewhat in a collector's mindset because it's such a low mintage and people that are getting into it later want the older years and if you pick up the current year in the current year in the future it will be worth more just simply because it is an older year so that's another way you can flip platinum another way to flip platinum is to just watch the spot price buy low sell high that's the typical way to go about flipping really anything stocks even gold and silver um I think platinum's a lot easier to work with and has a higher potential for flipping profits because its spot price moves so much that you can buy low and sell high and the lows and highs as far as the fluctuation are greater than that of silver and gold in my experience. Gold is up really high right now so if you bought a little while ago you can make a lot of profit there but that's not typical market for gold. Market for gold and silver kind of float around the same area. So platinum, in my experience, what I've seen is the spot price go from 700 to 1000 and everywhere in between. 
So if you buy at seven fifty and sell at nine fifty, you're gonna make a profit. My fractional platinum stack, which I told you in the beginning, I plan on getting more fractionals, especially at the price right now. But my fractional platinum stack consisted of about four grams, four single grams, two one tenth ounce Britannias, a quarter ounce Eagle that was slab that I actually bought at Spot from a private sale. And yeah, that was basically my fractional platinum stack. Now, I ended up making a profit on all of those pieces, every single one of them. And I flipped that profit into, I believe it was, mm, I want to say it was the Black Bull of Clarence that I flipped the profits into. So I bought this at a certain amount, but part of what I spent on this was profits from my fractionals that I flipped for a profit. So the overall cost to me for this was lower than what I actually paid because I flipped the fractionals for a profit. And that's a great way to grow your platinum stack in my opinion, is to buy fractionals low or just buy fractionals in general, flip them in a profit down the road if you can, to kind of convert them into a one ouncer so that you just have a well-rounded piece of platinum in your stack and you didn't have to pay that much because you just bought fractionals and then you sold them at a higher cost and then you bought something with lower premium because one ounces always have lower premiums than the fractionals. So in this video, I just kind of wanted to hit on some topics, some points on flipping platinum. If you were thinking about buying it for flipping, I think of the three metals, it's the best for flipping. I think gold and silver is just stack, 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 stack. You're not going to make a whole lot of profit on those, I think, in my opinion, and in my experience with the way spot price moves on those three metals. But I think flipping fractionals that you buy when the spot is low to convert into one ounces or just anything else you really need money for. I mean, and it's an easy way to gain profit. You buy it, you hold it, and then you sell it for a profit, you've made money. So in essence, whatever you buy, you didn't ha you only really originally spent the amount you originally spent on the fractionals. I'm a stacker, so all my profits just go back into the stack and growing the stack, but you can really do this with anything. And that's another point on kind of making your stack somewhat of a physical savings account is you put money in precious metals with the intent of that stack holding its value. You never sell low. You always sell high. And like in an emergency, well, in an emergency, you have value. And you can get that value back out of your stack. But in a regular time period, like say you want to buy Christmas gifts. You don't need to buy Christmas gifts, you just want to. So you can look at the spot price and the price that things are going for and you can determine whether or not you would be selling high or at the very least for what you bought it for because you never want to lose money on this stuff. You always want to gain money. And also to the people out there that easily get dissuaded or discouraged by certain things that happen in the market, don't fall into that trap of thinking, oh, my precious metals are going to just be worthless when the spot price ends up tanking, such as happened at the beginning of COVID. Don't go out and sell your stack. Hold it. Do whatever you can to prevent yourself. I mean, if it's an emergency, you lost your job and you got to pay bills, I understand that stuff happens, but Try your best not to ever sell for a loss. If you're going to sell for a loss, just don't sell. Sell something else. Mow somebody's lawn. Babysit somebody's kids. I mean, do whatever you got to do. But never sell for a loss. Always try to sell for a profit. And at the end of the day, at the very least, get what you put into it back out of it. So I would suggest being very careful and cautious with flipping. But 
in regards to platinum flipping, I think it's a great metal that you can make the most profit, really, from flipping. And that's just my opinion from studying the spot price and watching the spot price and studying the metal and the trends and things like that. Um, a lot of people think it's tied to the automotive industry. It is, but it's not as much as you might think. So don't let that discourage you either. So, yeah, guys. Until next time, we'll see ya. Thank you.